Hi guys. Arthur's new puppy. There's a nice picture of the puppy there. Arthur loved his new puppy, and Pell loved Arthur. He's very active puppy, said Arthur. He's a very naughty puppy, said D.W. Don't worry, said Arthur. I'll have him trained in no time. <laughs> See, the puppy is digging. I know somebody else that digs like that, too. I'll tell you about that later. Here's your new home, said Arthur. You'll have the whole garage to yourself. But Pell did not like the garage. As soon as Arthur put him down, Pell ran and hid. He feels lonesome, said Arthur. Can he stay in the house? Please, please, please. Oh, all right, said Mother, but only for a day or two. Arthur made a cozy spot for Pell in the kitchen. I thought you might need a few papers, said D.W. Arthur held held Pell carefully. The way his puppy book showed. Look, he's so excited, said Arthur. My goodness, look at all those papers. I don't think they need that many papers. Look at your pants, said D.W. You have ex excitement all over them. Oh, it's okay, said Arthur. He's just a baby. Well, I think baby dogs should wear diapers too, said D.W. See him holding them? They're holding They must be in the laundry room. That looks like the laundry room to me. Later, Pell ate his dinner in a flash. Uh-oh, said D.W. He has that look in his eyes again. Quick, said Arthur, his leash. But when Pell saw his leash, he ran and hid. I don't think he likes his leash, said D.W. Help me find him, said Arthur. I guess he didn't have to go after all, said D.W. I was wrong. No, you were right, said Arthur. He just went. Uh-oh, he went in the house. He didn't go outside to go potty. Duke goes potty outside. Later that night, when everyone was asleep, Pell yelped and howled until he woke up the entire family. Go to sleep, said Arthur. Pell wanted to play. Don't forget to close his gate, called Mother. Good night, said Father. Good luck, said D.W. The next morning, Arthur was still in the kitchen. Wake up, sleepyhead, said D.W., and be careful where you step. Oh, no, said Arthur. I forgot to close Pell's gate. Here's your scooper, said Mother. You think this is bad, said Father? Wait until you see the living room. Goodness sakes, I'm glad Duke goes outside. We would be in trouble. Pell looked very proud of himself. My new drapes, cried Mother. My doll, screamed D.W. Bad dog, said Arthur. Pell is moving to the garage, ordered Mother. Here's the key to the garage, said Father. I'll help you move his things after dinner. Father put the key on the hall table. Arthur packed up Pell's things and went to the garage, went to get the garage key, but it was gone. The whole family searched for the key. Pell watched. It has to be here somewhere, said Mother. But the key was nowhere to be found. And that's just a little puppy. It's not even very tall. It looks like you can stay in the house one more night, Arthur said. I heard Mom and Dad whispering, said D.W. And Pell's in big trouble. They said, the be they said he better be trained soon or else. Shh. Shush, said Arthur. You'll hurt his feelings. That night, Arthur remembered to close Pell's gate. See, he's sitting here petting the puppy. There's his gate. We have a gate, too. At school, Arthur told Francine and Buster about training. Pell, I'm going to teach you to do all kinds of things, said Arthur. I used to have a puppy, too, said Buster, but he was too much trouble. My parents sent him to a farm. My cousin had a problem puppy, said Francine. No one could train him. One day he just disappeared while she was at school. After school, Arthur hurried home. He was probably afraid his puppy was going to disappear too. Oh no, said Arthur. What happened? I thought I'd take him for a walk, said D.W. 
But when I saw when he saw the leash, he went wild. You better get you better get this cleaned up before Mom sees it. Where is Mom? asked Arthur. In the backyard, said D.W., looking for the garage key. Have you seen my dog training book? asked Arthur. What's left of it is over there, said D.W. Oh, my. Look at that paper. He chewed that all up. Dogs do like to do that when they're puppies. That night, Arthur gave Pal an extra training lesson. I'll help you train this beast, said D.W. Let me get my whip. No, said Arthur. Dogs respond better to love. Watch, said Arthur. He's getting better. Sit, said Arthur. Lie down, said Arthur. Stay, ordered Arthur. I know something he'll understand, said D.W. Time for your walk, pal. He just needs a little more work. That's all, said Arthur. But Pal needed a lot more work. Arthur set up a training school in the backyard. On Monday, they would work on they would work on sit. On Tuesday, they worked on down. Wednesdays was stay day. By Thursday, Pal was doing tricks. Good dog, Pal said Arthur. Arthur decided to put on a puppy show for his family. When they see how well you're trained, they'll never send you away, said Arthur. Arthur got up early Saturday morning to give Pell a bath. And after breakfast, Arthur's family took to the, took their seats. Welcome to Arthur's puppy show, said Arthur. He held his breath. What are you about to see will amaze and astound you. If Pell amazes us anymore, our whole house will be destroyed, said D.W. <laughs> that funny. Arthur clapped his hands. Come, he said, and Pell came. Sit, said Arthur, and Pell sit. Down, said Arthur. Down went Pell. Pell even did a trick. Good dog, said Arthur. He is a good dog, said Mother. You mean he won't have to live on a farm, asked Arthur? Of course not, said Father. Not even in the garage. No one noticed Pell run behind the rose bushes. Uh-oh. When Pell returned, he sat up and wagged his tail. Look, he has something in his mouth, said D.W. It is the key to the garage, said Arthur. Good boy, Pell, said Father. Amazing, said Mother. That night, Arthur gave Pell a special dinner. Time for your walk, Pell, said Arthur. I'll get your leash. But Arthur couldn't find it anywhere. It was on the hook a minute ago, said Arthur. I know I left it there. I'll help you look, said D.W. Mother and Dad helped, too. It was... It has to be here somewhere, said Arthur. The dog's smiling. No one noticed Pell run behind the rose bushes, and guess what he found behind the rose bushes? He found his leash. So puppies do a lot of things when they're a puppy. You know that Duke, Duke sits now when you tell him, and he stays. He listens better to Danny than he listens to Bubba. But he, he's pretty good, but he's still a puppy, and he still likes to chew paper, and if he can get a hold of something to chew, he will chew it. So you have to really make him listen, because, you know, sometimes, and he's a big dog, but he's a good dog. He's been trained, and he knows to listen, but sometimes he outsmarts you. He loves to get outside, and he chases the squirrel. If you could see him chase that squirrel, you would be laughing. He runs around the tree a couple times, like 100 miles an hour. It's really a lot of fun to watch him. And he will play. You can throw the tennis ball. He'll get it. He'll bring it back to you, and you can throw it again. And he just runs so hard to play with it. So dogs can be really good if you work with them. So we're still trying to work with Duke, so he'll listen. And he'll be better because when they're puppies, it takes a long time. And he's growing, but he is a good puppy. And maybe you'll see him at Thanksgiving. How about that? That will be great. I love you guys. Toodaloo.